people, welcome to my channel. I'm Kapano from Kapano the Blog and thank you for choosing me. Now today is the start of something super exciting and something new. <laughs> and I'm not talking about my background. Okay, no, seriously. Today is the start of something new and exciting here on my channel. I'm starting something called the How I Do Things series. The How I Do Things series is going to be a 12 part series, meaning that every week for 12 weeks, I'm going to be releasing a new video with a brand new tutorial showing you how to achieve a brand new look. This week, it's all about the cornrow, baby. Okay, gorgeouses, you'll need a red tail comb to define those lines, a white tooth comb to detangle, a brush to get those edges in order. You'll need a spray bottle filled with water to just dampen your hair a little. You need some gel to make sure that your hair stays in place and does not misbehave. You'll need a mirror to see what's going on at the back of the head, now that is super important. You'll need some ribbons to just tie your hair and move it out of place. And finally, you'll need some edge control because no style is done without them edges, girl. So as I mentioned before, this cornrow method is a little different from the one that is quite popular on YouTube. So I've recorded it from four different angles so you'll be able to see what I'm doing from all four angles, making it easier for you to learn. Let's get into it. Okay, so I want to show you a basic overview of what we're trying to achieve today. I'm going to show you how I do one line, nice and quick, just to give you an overview so you can see what we're trying to achieve and what the end goal is. So as you know, I really want to do this hairstyle on hair that is either damp or nicely detangled and moisturized. So I'm going to be using this bottle of water to make my hair a bit damp, which makes it easier to deal with. The beauty of my special technique is that you don't need to work on hair that is straightened, which means you don't have to damage your hair before doing this hairstyle. I'm then gonna take my red tail comb and carve out the line that I want. Then I'm going to be using a hair gel to make sure that my edges are in order and don't misbehave. Cool. And remember, this is just an overview to show you what I'm doing. I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide, nice and slow, step-by-step, -step. break it down so you understand. So here's a quick overview. Now that I've shown you a quick and easy overview of what I just did, I'm going to break it down. So we're gonna start this process again. I am going to just undo the little puffs. Now I'm just making my hair nice and damp. Now that that part's done, I'm going to Cut out the line that I want. Okay, we're about to get into it. So you're going to have one hand, which is my least dominant hand, on top of my head, holding the hair. My thumb is going to go to the one side of the hair, my palm over the hair, and the rest of my fingers on the other side of the hair. So here's my thumb, here is my palm on the other side of my hair. This is the hand that's going to do most of the work. So for the sake of explanation, we'll call this the floating hand and this hand, the hand on top of the head. So let's get into starting position. So there's the hand. I'm gonna pinch a bit of hair, like so. Then I'm going to take this little bit of hair and put it under my middle finger on top of my head. Remember, this is just to get into the starting position. I'm gonna pinch another piece of hair 
like so. I'm gonna hold it in between my middle and my ring finger on my floating hand. Take the hair that's under the middle finger and swap it to the other side and place it under my thumb. Now I still have this hair in my floating hand. I'm gonna put that hair under my middle finger on the hand that is on top of my head. So let's get into this step-by-step -step guide. You'll need your thumb on the one side and your fingers on the other. Then let's get into each step, starting with step one. With your floating hand, grab a small section of your hair. Remember to keep your, hair, your hands in position. Step two, place that hair under your middle finger on top of your head. Step three is to take another piece of hair and place it between your middle and your ring finger on your floating hand. Next step, with your floating hand, grab the hair from under the middle finger and place that hair under your thumb on your head. Finally, put the remaining hair under your middle finger. Now let's get into continuing this cornrow. So here we go. This is just an overview for you to see what all five steps look like when you do them one after the other. Then I'm going to break it down for you step by step. Let's get into it. So pinch a piece of hair with your floating hand and place it between your middle and your ring finger. Now you're going to keep it there while you take a piece of the hair that's under your middle finger with your floating hand. At the same time, you're going to lift your hand off your head and put the hair that was under your thumb together with the hair that was in the middle. Complete the switch by putting the hair under your thumb. You're then going to take the remaining hair that was in your floating hand and place that under your middle finger on top of your head. Now let's see that all in action one more time and break it down again. Okay, let's break it down one more time from a different angle. Pinch some hair with your floating hand and hold it between your middle and your ring finger. With your floating hand, take hair from under your middle finger. At the same time, you're going to lift your hand off your head and put the hair that was under your thumb together with the hair that's in the middle. You're then going to reposition your hand and place the hair under your thumb. Take the hair that was left in your floating hand and place that under your middle finger. Now I'm going to repeat these steps over and over again from different angles so you can see how it works. So you're going to pinch some hair, put it in between your middle and your ring finger on your floating hand. Then you're going to take the hair from under your middle finger and put it under your thumb. Reposition your hand and put the hair under your middle finger once again. Here's the look from a different angle so you can see all the steps again. Same thing, you're going to pinch some hair. You're going to switch the hair from under the middle finger over to the thumb. You're going to put the hair back together, reposition your hand, hold the hair with your thumb and then hold the hair with your middle finger. These steps, you're going to repeat them over and over again. Watch the video again if you need to. And I think the best way to learn is for you to play the video while you're doing your own hair. Now here's the final angle so you can see how it works and so you can see how it looks when my hand is behind my head. It does feel a little strange holding my hand behind my head 
but if you just trust the process and follow all the steps, it will go perfectly fine and you'll see that the line will turn out just great. Now when finishing the line, you'll be left with three strands of hair. Use these three strands of hair to do a standard braid. If you don't know how to braid your hair, let me know in the comments down below and I will do a tutorial to show you how to do a standard braid. Here is the finished look. As you can see, it's nice and neat and I didn't even have to stretch or straighten my hair to get this look. Because my hair is slightly damp when I start working with it, it's really easy to stretch and work with. Okay guys, I was super nervous for this tutorial and I really hope that it helped. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm going to continue and finish off my hair. Remember that you can download the full written tutorial with pictures from my blog. Go to www.copanetheblog.co.za to get your copy. Okay, so now I'm done. It looks good. My head feels nice and fresh. It's super refreshing to have a new hairstyle done and dusted. So now you have to decide what you're going to do with your hair at the back. You can either use a ribbon to tie the hair in the middle, but my hair is a little too short for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my hair towards the middle on each side. So a lot of people forget to brush their hair behind their head. Please don't forget to do this because it's also very important. Now here's one final look at my lines. I did get one little wonky line but other than that everything looks pretty good to me. Now no hairstyle is finished without using your edge tamer to tame those edges girl. I'm going to be using one edge tamer that is nice and clear and moisturizing to just tame my edges before I slay this look. Okay, gorgeous, I am done, done, done with this hairdo. I have slayed the edges and now I am done. There it is, eight straight neat cornrow braids on natural hair. No heat was needed to achieve this look. Now go out there, try it for yourself and don't forget to head over to my website to get your copy of the step-by-step -step guide to recreating this look. I would love to know what you think and what you'd like to see in my next tutorial. So please, please, please comment down below. Now as usual, no video is done without my selfies. So here they are, one, two, Thank, thank you so much for watching gorgeous people. I'm Kopano from Kopano the blog and I just did the things.